Yo, what up? I'm Michael from Long Beach, California, and this is my thug story. So growing up, when I was younger, I used to hustle a lot. I used to hustle candy. I used to do a lot of hustles, but I remember my cousin once coming in bumping Bone Thugs in Harmony, and I asked him what song it was, and he told me, For the Love of Money. So pretty much in the morning, I would wake up bumping For the Love of Money and just get my day started. It always made me feel better. It always gave me the motivation because at the end of the day, it's all about for the love of money, right? Man, I don't know who can't relate to Bone Thugs. Any song that you choose, it makes you feel a certain way. I remember uh, losing a, a close family member and uh, bumping Crossroads, you know? And also the weed song, First of the Month. Who, who, who can't relate to those songs? I feel like Bone Thugs and Harmony does good for everyone. It's good for the soul. It's not just good to just, you know, bump it. Yeah, who doesn't like to roll one up to them, you know? I'm not the first one, you know? Bone Thugs and Harmony, I appreciate them so much because they got me through so many struggles in life. And their songs hit me right here in the heart. I appreciate you guys. Good looking out, Bone Thugs. Hey, what's up, my Bone Thugs and Harmony fans? This is Max Stax Carrillo. I'm from Texas, and this is my thug story. When I first became a Bone fan was because of my brother-in-law, Jaime Amaya, rest in peace. He really turned me on to Bone Thugs in Harmony. I remember seeing that video, Thuggish Ruggish Bone. It really touched me in my heart when they said, um, we're not against rap, we're not against rappers, but we are against those thugs. And best believe it, I felt it in my heart because I was a little thug, you know, just growing up in the hood, feeling alone with no dad. That really gave me inspiration. It gave me a lot of willpower to get up, to go and chase that bag. I turned my homies on to Bone Thugs in Harmony music you know, because like them, there were little thugs in the street, you know, just trying to live day by day. They were our mo motivation for a lot of things, man. Going to make a better life, you know? We're not alone. It's, it's thugs everywhere. Hi, my name is Rose. I'm from Northeast LA, and this is my thug story. So I have plenty of stories regarding bone thugs, but if I could maybe recount one, it was in middle school. There was an assignment that we had to do on the Founding Fathers. I was really obsessed with Bone Thugs. I, I would dream about them. I swear I would wake up and talk about them. I would tell my classmates about them. They'd be like, uh, yeah, we heard them already, but they just did not care. But the assignment was the Founding Fathers. And I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and just like, not even do the assignment. I'm gonna do it on Bone Thugs and Army. So when I turned it in, I got a D only because effort, but it was, the teacher said that it wasn't appropriate because I did not relate anything to Mount Rushmore. I basically said that why all five should be on Mount Rushmore. And it was just so, you know, she told me that, you know, you, you shouldn't have done this because it didn't make no sense, but at least you tried, you gave explanation on why the songs go and why these men should be on the mountain, but it still wasn't the assignment. So yeah, you failed, but you did a good job for effort. You know, so that's one of my many so stories. So the story that I have, um, I was in fifth grade. I had bought the East 1999 CD and I was dying for it. Just like, just because it was like the golden ticket from the damn Willy Wonka movie. I was like excited when I got it. I finally got it and when I opened it up, um, I guess you have to put it against the mirror to read the inside. It's like a, I don't know if it's a ritual, I don't know what, but I was reading it against the mirror and my mom seen it and got it and threw it away. I cried so bad and she's like, yeah, that's the devil coming out of you. No, it was because that was like my heart and soul and she took all that shit away. And to this day, she'll be like, remember when I broke your CD? I'm like, yeah, mom, let's not, you know, let's not bring it up because I was still downloading all that shit from LimeWire, you know, like regardless, but I just wanted to have that CD, you know, but still, I don't know. That was a good one of the stories I had. <laughs>